Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Schrader. We are gonna improvise using our recorders today. And um, we are going to use the letters D, C, B, A, and G. And um, we will use a four beat pattern. And remember when you improvise, or well, let's, let's do our echo, improvise, make it up as you go along. So it's different than when I play, you play, and it's an echo, right? That means that it's the same thing. This is where you make it up, and yours should sound different than mine. We're also going to add our other rules in where um, today, if you are doing the call, you are going to end on B or D, and if you are doing the response, you are going to end on G. So the reason we're doing this is it's called a cadence. A cadence is basically the end of a musical phrase. So when we think of a phrase, that's like a musical sentence. So it's just showing that we're coming to the end of, of that phrase, and that's a cadence. There are different kinds of cadences. The, there's a half cadence. That means that it's, it's like a connecting phrase and that you can, it doesn't feel like it's completely over. So we feel like it's still going to go on to another phrase. And um, for that, in terms of our, like our singing, it means that we're ending on a uh, in this case, a me or a soul. And um, it's a part of a chord that that has soul in it. And um, to do the other cadence, that's called an authentic cadence. And it makes us feel like we're at the end of the phrase. So we're going to end on do. So when we're using G, A, B, C, and D, um, G is where do is. So um, let's do, a. am gonna do a practice for you all by myself first. I'm gonna do a four, beat phrase and I'm going to end on B or D and then I'm going to do another four beat phrase. I'll stop in the middle this time um, and then I'm going to do something that ends on G. Okay, so you can kind of hear how it's going to sound. That was my four beat um, half cadence where I ended on B or and then my um, <laughs> my authentic cadence where I get to the end is going to sound like this. Okay, so let's give it a try. I'm going to do the call first and you're going to do the response. So you play something, something, something G. So you get to make up anything that you want during the other part. Okay, so here we go. How did you do? It's a little trickier than just doing the rather regular echoes where you get to make anything up. I hope you did a good job. Um, we're gonna go on this time. You guys get to do the call. So you end on B or D and I'm going to do the response. So um, I will end on a G. So what you will play is something, something, something B or something, something, something D. If it's really confusing knowing that you have two options, choose the B or the D and always do the same one. If you feel like, hey, I've got this, no problem, you can switch between B and D, okay? All right, you start and I'm going to do the response, right? You do the call, I do the response. All right, one, two, ready, go. Good job, everybody. Um, if this is confusing for you, this is a little harder. We have all five notes, right? D, C, B, A, and G. And we're trying to get those cadences in there. So if this is a little trickier, go back and practice it. You can play it as many times as you want. All right. Great job, everybody. We'll see you next time.